G'day guys, welcome back. Look what I've got, a domino set. I haven't played domino since I was a child. But I thought, we'll get the set and um, have a little play, see what I can make. I did have a little look on uh, YouTube at Domino's, like to get some ideas, inspiration, I guess. Um, yeah, I didn't really see any that just kind of grabbed me. So I thought I would like to make them black and gold, but I don't want just plain gold. I want them to be transparent with little bits of gold flake. So then I thought I'll use my gold leaf and uh, yeah, mix up my resin and put my gold leaf in it. And then when they're dry, I'll either just dot them with this black marker. I don't know how that, how well that's going to work. And I also bought this just from the craft shot. It's a little dotting tool. It's got a bigger ball at that end and then a little tiny one at that end. So this end might be good for the little line and that end might be good for the actual dots. So we'll try both of those out and see which one works. So I'll move that out of the way. I'm using this Platinum Super Clear. It's a little bit more sort of a, a yellowy tone, I guess, to what the Ultra Clear was. Whether or not it goes clear when it's mixed, it's, it's hard to tell because I've got a yellowy background here, but we'll see. I ran out of the Ultra Clear, but I think I'll order more because it just seems to be more clear. It's ultra clear. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've got, a, first of all, like my friend Fiona used this the other day to do a set and she wanted um, like rainbow colours. The, um, the yellow ink has kind of marked, stained I guess. Same thing happened when I did um, my chakra coasters with the yellow ink it, it also stained but it doesn't transfer again so that's fine um, so just make sure that they're clean so yeah that's why it's got that yellow in it I haven't I personally haven't used it before but it has been used right so it takes we made up 240 grams of resin and it wasn't enough so then we then she did another top coat with um, with gold so I figured about 300 grams we're going to need. So what I've got in here, I did 200 grams of part A and I did 90 grams of part B. So I've got 290 and that should be fine. So I've just, in my little cup there, I just uh, got some of my gold leaf and I separated it because it can get quite stuck together. So it's a good idea just to, oi, where do you think you're going? Get back in there. It's not time to play yet. Yeah, so just separate them first. And I did it just to save time beforehand because it is a bit time consuming separating each piece. Some of them don't need separating, but sometimes you'll find you get a whole block of leaves stuck together. So you just need to separate them. Otherwise you get big chunks of, of gold leaf and you don't really want that. All right, so let's see how this is going to go. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. And I do want the pieces to be quite small. I'm mixing like I'm mixing acrylic paint here, but I'm trying to get the pieces to be small. Actually, probably in hindsight, hindsight's a wonderful thing, isn't it? In hindsight, it's probably a good idea to put all your gold leaves and just put a little bit of resin that way you can like um, make a paste out of it that way you can probably break your leaves up to the size that you want them because there's no way I'm going to be able to break them up now that was a bit silly wasn't it I can't really break them up now I'll try But I don't think I'm going to be able to. All I'm going to do is get air bubbles in there. So, yeah, hindsight is an amazing thing. But, look, if you guys learn something from me by doing it the wrong way, then that's okay. There's a bit of leaf there that's not separated. I 
guess I'm going to have big pieces of gold in there, which is not what I wanted. Where'd that big chunk go? I'm just going to get it out. It's not separating. You can tell when they're not separating, there's a big chunk. Okay, that's, yeah, it's not going to be any smaller than that. So I'm going to have big pieces of gold flake in my dominoes. <laughs> All right, and the other thing I thought was probably a better idea is, although mm, I might be able to, no, I thought I'll, I'll pour the mix in here and then I can pinch the edge of the cup. Because trying to pour from the big cup is going to be tricky. So here we go. Let's just pour this in. I know it's not very exciting. I'm sorry. I've just gone for the gold flake. Oops, my dogs are fighting again. Holly gets picked on. A cavoodle. See, now that one hasn't got as much as that one because I guess the gold, maybe I need to go, give it a stir. Have a quick stir before I pour because it tends to, they tend to sink, don't they? Doesn't matter if they're all a little bit different, like the amount of gold that's in there, but I can always add a little bit more if there's one that hasn't got as much as the other, like this one hasn't got much. All right, let's give this a stir and then pour it in just so that we get a good amount of gold, otherwise it's all gonna sink to the bottom. I'll come back to that one. So yeah, I thought the gold leaf, there's a big piece there. The gold leaf would look really pretty with um, black dots. There's a piece there that is clumpy that hasn't separated. I'll just grab him out. After I've finished, I'll go through and work out, you know, what's, what's too big or what's chunky and then I'll just remove it. Like that piece there, that just looks way too big. And that one's sticking up through the top. And you can break them up with your tweezers as well, if something's too, too big. Or if you think you've got a bit much in one, you can move it over to another. Always make sure that you wipe your tweezers with a wet wipe though, hey? <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to stick together forever. All right, here we go. Give it another stir. And I also bought some boxes to keep my set of dominoes in. So I'll show you those a bit later when I'm, I'm ready to actually box them up. And I'll show you what I bought. Very exciting. It'd be nice as a gift. If you like doing homemade gifts for people. I think that would be a nice idea. So I'll show you what I'm using when I get to that step. Now the actual gold isn't going to displace the amount of resin all that much. You don't have to really allow, I don't think, for that amount of, of gold. It's not very much it's very lightweight all right so I'm just going to torch and then I'm going to come in and fill them up a little bit so just make sure when you're using these sort of cheapish molds that um, you don't overheat them because they will melt and your resin will stick to them. I've done that before. I've actually done it to my own mold when I got too close with the torch. Just using my little creme brulee kitchen torch. Just a quick little zoom over. You're better off 
doing this and then waiting a few minutes for it to cool down and then going back again rather than staying in one spot for too long and making it too hot. Okay, let's give that a stir. Okay, now we're just going to come in and fill them up to the top. It's a bit hard to see if they're full or not. The only way I can really tell is to look across the top uh, into my into my window. It's a big blob there. Making a mess. I think we're going to be pretty close with the um, 290 grams. I think that worked out well. I've also got a set of uh, knots and crosses that I want to do. Got all these molds that I bought last year and I haven't used a lot of them yet. If you catch if you get a drip, try and clean it off because then it's gonna stick to the inside of your domino. There's that big blob again. I'll just take him out. Put him back in the cup. I shouldn't have. All right, this is the last of my resin. So, let's see if we're going to actually need it all. I think we will because I calculated that I needed, you know, around about 300 grams and I made up 290 so it should be the right amount now this one seems as though it's got a lot in it like a lot of gold the reason I like the gold flake is because it's so light. It just kind of suspends. Like it doesn't sink like glitter does. I think I've overfilled this one. So yeah, that's that's what I, I like about it. It just it's gonna give that really floaty, floaty look. Which is what I was after. Right, let's Actually, I can see some bubbles. I'll give it a torch and then I'll keep filling it up. And the bubbles will keep rising to the top. When you're using a clear resin, it's really good to use a resin that's on the lower viscosity side, as in nice and thin, because the bubbles release a lot easier out of a thin resin than they do out of a thick resin. Like, say, stone coat countertops. Uh, it's a very thick resin, uh, so the bubbles stay in it longer. It's harder for the bubbles to come up to the top in a really thick resin. So I like to use a, a thinner resin personally. Okay, now where did I get up to? Is my filling? I think I'm about up here. I'm dripping down the side. Be careful of that. Don't overflow. If you are going to use another little cup like this, don't overfill it. Like half full is probably best. Then you don't overflow anything. Otherwise, it ends up dripping down the side there. Just makes a mess. And who wants a mess? Okay. Um. I can't actually tell which ones are full now. I'm going to have to just go and stand back and have a little look. This one needs more. Do you want to have a look? Do you want to see what I'm 
I'm seeing. I'll take you down. I'll show you what I mean about seeing if they're full or not. I just take you down. Round we go. All right, because I've got a window there. So you look across the top of them, and you can tell which ones need more. Top row, second from the right, he needs more. So it's just a bit of a, a long process. See how it's full now? It's it's um, mounding. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that. I won't bother you with filming at all. But um, I'll come back when they're all full anyway. See you soon. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day for me anyway. All right, let's get this little lid off. They've been tucked up all night. Yep, nice and dry and set. Right. Now I wonder, I wonder if we're going to get a sharp edge on them. I did, um, oh, there we go, popped him out. Are you stuck? Oh, no, don't stick, not the first one. Are you stuck? No, no, yes. No? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, let's leave you for a minute. Oh my gosh. I did try not to torch too much. Let's see if we can get these babies out. Oh, they're sticking. Oh, I tell you, these moulds, I don't know why I bother... Maybe I should just be careful with my torch, hey? Where's my little blade? That one's sticking as well. Oh, okay. Thank goodness we get one out. So you can feel, you can't really see on there, but you can feel the little dots. So, do they sharp though? I, I was having a look after I bought this mould. I was having a look last night um, on Amazon and there were some other molds and they seem to be more rounded on the edges and they seem to have a wider line. So I've ordered that one just to see. All right, so now that's really sharp there on the edge. Even though I did fill them you know, as full as I could, it is quite sharp. So it's, it's kind of like a paper cut. If you had to run your finger on there, you would get cut. So what you need to do is... You need to get one of these sanding blocks and um, believe me it is sharp don't need to do the top the top's okay I mean it's the, it, the corners there are quite pointy but with that now I think both sides are the same this one is uh, medium grade you can get fine grade if you prefer and I'm just going to rub it like that now, hopefully it's just the edges, which are a little bit more raised, are going to get sanded off and the bottom area is not going to get scratched. That should be what happens. Okay, that feels better. I mean, if you wanted to, you could just sort of go along the edges like that. If you're worried about maybe scratching the base, you could just do that all the way around and that would work as well it's just a little bit more time consuming I guess and then just give it a wipe with a, a piece of paper towel or a dry cloth okay so that feels much better not as sharp as it was before that's for sure a little bit of silicone stuck there it obviously had stuck I must stop buying these cheap molds. Maybe I can make my own domino mold <laughs> out of the good silicone. All right, <clears throat> let me get rid of that dust. <clears throat> and um, let's see if I can make my dots. I just want to make sure that we're focused. I might sort of bring you in a little bit more. Just one sec. 
All right, a bit of problem there, but this is too, too thick. It's fine for the dots, but for the little line, um, it just kind of skimmed over the top. It didn't go deep enough, that one, so that didn't work. And I tried this one. It's a little bit thinner, but same thing. It didn't get deep enough. It just kind of did the top of the outside of the line. Um, <clears throat> now, this. I better not tip it up too much. <laughs> I might lose it all. Wouldn't that be awful? Right. Uh, it's just the black satin enamels, Deco Art. Because I had a look and I thought, what have I got that's black paint? Mica pigment, like pigment. Um, it doesn't really dry. I've tried that before on something else and it just stays sticky forever. So paint, tried that. Um, I used my little little dotting tool, the little one there. It was also too big. So then I tried, I dipped my palette knife into the paint and I did that. And that gave me that little line. But I'm thinking, what about a t um, like a chopstick? Uh, not a chopstick, like a toothpick or a skewer. Maybe that would work. So let's just try just dipping the tiniest little end in there. See, it all, it all kind of wants to just go to the side. So I think what we're going to have to do is actually put a decent amount in, like to fill the whole gap there. And then just wipe the excess off. It's it's a bit of a tedious job, I must say. Now I need another piece of paper towel. And then just wipe the excess off and then the bottom will stay, like what's in the bottom will stay. So that works. <laughs> Look at that. That looks really pretty. Um, but as I said, I have ordered another domino set and the, the line looks to be much wider. It doesn't go all the way to the edge as well. It looks wider and shorter. So I think that next one will be better. And I think it's made I think it's made out of the thicker silicone as well, instead of this cheap one. So let me move that over to the side a little bit. I can put that there because it's a bit hard to see, isn't it, on this yellowy background. Now I've also got these, I found these, the crystals. I think they're going to be too big, but wouldn't they be pretty? Not necessarily on this set, but on a on a um, like a black set. It's like a little diamante thing, but I think it's going to be too big. What's this one? It's hard to see. Okay, that's the clear one. This is the one. So we put that there. See, that would look really pretty, wouldn't it? But um, yeah, it's just it's too big. And you'd have to glue them all down. So I might actually order some smaller ones. I like the silver. I might do like a black domino with the silver diamantes. I think that would look really pretty. All right, let's try another one. Um, all right, now for this, for the circle, I'm going to use the big dot. I think that should work pretty well because it's around. Uh, that fills that fills that in quite nicely and then for the line we'll just use the skewer I mean if you guys have got really fine paint brushes go right ahead use whatever you got that's going to fit in there but you just kind of have to push your paint into the bottom there and then with a clean paper towel just wipe the excess off and there we go so it's I don't think it's too difficult it's just a little bit tedious I did manage to get these out the ones that stuck but um, I did have to cut a little bit off oh this one's a six and a six Let's do the six and the six. Let's dot that in there. I can't even see where they are. One. Two. You get a 
enough paint on there you can just like dab it like that 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 seems to be working rather than trying to color it in yeah that seems to work better get a good drop on there I guess it'll dry we'll have to wait and see it is only paint so it's acrylic paint so it should dry and um, it's not like the inside of the dots going to get scraped is it so it should stay okay so those are the dots done I'll wipe that off and then the line fill in the line lots of paint fill it in doesn't matter if you go over the edges it's just paint you're gonna just wipe it off I guess if you're using like an oil based paint it might be a little bit more difficult you might have to get your alcohol wipe out your little alco wipe there we go that was pretty easy pretty easy you can actually give it a little rub like that to give it a polish beautiful like that look at that Woohoo! I'm doing it that was a bit of trial and error but um yeah it's working I haven't sanded that one I'll have to go through and sand them all but I wanted to just show you first um, what I was doing anyway bit of trial and error by all means not maybe the one and only way of of doing it I'll move that over so you can see the the paint yeah not the one and only way of doing it I'm sure there's lots and lots of different ways and if you guys have been doing dominoes and you know are having successful ways of of painting them then uh, that's great there's a bit of silicone stuck on there I won't actually be able to use this mold again it's got bits of silicone torn off but um, I think what I'll do is I have got a set of dominoes somewhere I might try and make my own mold with my good silicone because I don't think there's any point buying a mold if you can only use it once hey what's the point of that easier just to go along the edge like that actually because I don't want to risk scratching the, the base so I'm just on a bit of an angle like that <laughs> bits of muck everywhere okay here we go dip this one's a five it's a bit hard to see where the dots are actually two three four I must make sure I've got enough on there that fills them so I don't have to actually color them in because you don't want to go around and color them in you just want the the paint to fall in there what's that one? Oh, that one's a five as well I guess you could use a you know if you were I'm not sure I think this is a water-based paint but if you were worried you could use an oil-based paint but then like I said you just have to be careful that um, you're going to be able to actually just wipe the excess off then you just need you need to be careful <clears throat> if you're using alcohol wipes or um, nail polish remover like acetone you just have to be careful that it's not going to like take the top layer of your resin off and you'll lose your shine that, that'll be determined by the type of resin that you're using and you know how long it takes to set so just try it out on a piece of scrap resin first and make sure that you know it's going to not damage your resin so there we go easy peasy and then a bit of a, a shine back again beautiful love it what do you think look that's going to take me a while isn't it to finish so I missed a tiny little bit on that one yeah it's a labor of love that's for sure a labor of love but once you get the hang of it and you get into a 
a production line, I think it would be pretty easy just to go bang, 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 sand them all, dot them all, line them all, wipe them all, and you're done. All right, so that's it. That's me done. Um, I'm going to go and do the rest of them. I thought maybe that you'd want to just watch me unmold them. I don't know. I'll just, I'll just do that real quick and put them out here. For me, when, when I watch somebody do a, a resin pour, see that one? That one I had to get out earlier. So I did have to loosen a few of them earlier. That one, see that one? Look at that. It's probably just me, like, you know, maybe I just, I've obviously torched too much, but you should be able to just, I think, torch a little bit without having to ruin your mould. It was only on a couple of them where I got a bit close, but it's a very, it's very, very thin silicone, and it's probably my own fault for torching, but look, I've used those other little, oh, where is it, these things the embossing tool and it just like for one thing it just blows the resin and because these are so full like it just kind of blows it over the top so it doesn't really work for me and yeah that's the main problem I have with those is um it just blows the resin hey guys I'm done but I wanted to show you something now, I don't know if it's just my mould. Look at that. Do you notice anything wrong with that? So, it's only got three dots. When it's supposed to only have three dots, it has them like that, on an angle. So, this one... Where is it? This one is supposed to be a four-dotter but it's missing the bottom dot. And if you look at the actual mold, where is it now? I've lost it. Oh, there. It's actually only got, it's this, it's this one here, it's only got three little nibs. So it's actually missing that one in the corner there. So. I don't know if it's just my mold like it's not as if it's been ripped off or anything it's just not there so it may just be that the whole batch of molds like this is wrong whoever made it is you know did it incorrectly because um, now we've got a one and a three and we've got where's the other one help me out here guys where's the other one one and a three where is it? Zero, zero. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? You can never find it when you want it. I did see it. Oh, there. See that, that one there? It's a one and a three. So, I don't know where the actual domino is though. Oh, they all look the same. So anyway, now we've got a, a one and a three and a one and a three. So we've got two the same is what I'm trying to say because it's a problem, it's a faulty thing. So I think what I need to do is I just need to draw, if I can, little circle otherwise you know the game's not going to play the same because it's got two exactly the same so I'll just do the best I can drawing a little circle <laughs> there we go so now it's a one and a four where is my one and three no 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 no, 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 you're a zero there. 
Where is it? Oh, why can't I find it? I know it's there. Oh, look, there he is. I haven't coloured, I've missed that one. Look, <laughs> I've missed that one. Oh my God, I thought I was going mad. Let me just paint him again. I seriously thought I was going mad that I couldn't find it. Is that him? Oops, I'm not on autofocus. There we go, autofocus. So there he is, you can see the little indentation there. So I'm just going to, oh, you can't really see it. I'm just going to dip my little dip, dotting tool in there. Dip it in. There we go. Just wipe across the top. Get that excess off. And there we go. Right, now I've got a full set. I've got a one and a three. And I've got a one and a four. So check your molds, guys. As I said, these are cheap, cheap China made, manufactured in the masses. So whoever's made this mold has obviously made it wrong because that is there's no little nib there at all. So check your molds. If you've got one that's faulty like that, send it back. Or you'll have to do another little dot like I've done. So there we are. I just thought I'd share that with you in case you had the same problems as me. So there we go. Um, I'm going to set these up outside and take a little photo of them. That was fun. All right. I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys, I forgot to show you my box that I was going to um, use to put my, my dominoes away in. Let me just grab it for you. So this is what I bought. It's an art bin uh, and it says photo and craft supply organizer set. So inside this is, ta-da, five of these. One, two, three, four, five. That means I have to make five sets of dominoes. So that was pretty good. I just got that on eBay. I'm sure you could get them anywhere. Um, has it got a size on it? It just says great for up to four by six photos, inches. So yeah, not sure. So I guess that's like four inches by six inches. But look at that. How cool is that? Let's put them away quickly. make some room here. I love these dominoes. I really did. I showed them to my daughter Gemma and she wants the set. I said I'll make you a set. What colour do you want? And she goes, oh I really like the ones that you've just made. I said oh, okay you can have those then. <laughs> but um, like I'm putting them in here now. So, so that's two layers and I've got four left. So I guess I wonder if they could, you could either pop them up there like that but then that doesn't, yeah. Just, just just, do that. Because the, the top has got, um, like it's got space in there, so easily closed. There we go. Love them. So there, just wanted to show you. That's what I, I did. <laughs> so grab yourself some little containers. And um, yeah, make yourself some dominoes. They're a lot of fun. All right. Now I'll set you up for the photo shoot outside. Thanks for watching. Bye.